Hello, so yes, welcome to episode 5. In this episode, I'll be telling you about the Fuse Deposit Modeling, FDM, kind of printing. At the front page, you can see Stratasys. So Stratasys, Stratasys is currently the world leading company in the Fuse Deposit Modeling technique. So here we go, we'll go to the next slide. So in this episode, I'll be doing something different. As for the last week or so, I've actually attended a teaching course and I'm currently attending this teaching course. So I decided to introduce this aims and learning outcomes slide. So to provide people with an understanding of what they should know after watching this episode. So firstly, the aims of this episode is to provide factual knowledge on the topic of FDM through a PowerPoint based format. The learning outcomes, as you can see, is to describe the process, to identify two principles related to the FDM process, to identify the advantages and disadvantages of the FDM process, and lastly, to identify the applications of the FDM process. So I hope you learned this. So on to the first slide. So the FDM process. Firstly, the FDM is a material extrusion process. So you, you can see that the material is in the material spool so the, the solid filament is drawn and to a heated extrusion head where the filament get melted and thus it becomes molten material and then the nozzle selectively moves so that it fills the cross section of the part and it builds layer by layer as can be seen by the diagram shown so FDM technology is actually one of the, the most popular 3D printing technology as it is a very simple technology, it's very cheap and the majority of consumer 3D printer uses this technology. So once again, Stratasys is currently the world leading company in this technology. So yes, this is the FDM process. So in this, in this process, there's actually two principles or you can say two phenomenon that happens. So firstly, the surface chemistry between the extruded filament and the platform actually plays a very important role to ensure that the layers adhere well to each other. Because the polymer that is being extruded and the platform material can be made of different materials. Is normally They are normally different materials. So they might not bond well. So if they don't bond well, then that, that is a problem. So the next, the next phenomenon is that the, temper the temperature of the built environment is also important as, to, as it ensures that the part does not shrink excessively thus affecting, the, thus affecting the print job as the layers might not be perfectly flat so that might cause some problems as well. Next we move on to the advantages and disadvantages of the FDM process. For the advantages, the FDM process generally has a very cheap material cost and I feel that in the future, the material cost will be even cheaper as people are developing FDM printers to work with pellet materials. So pellet materials are actually very common in plastic injection molding. So that will bring the price of materials down even further. Another advantage that FDM have is that the method has a very the method is using very simple mechanism. So you can see that this method was very easily replicated by a lot of consumer companies that made consumer FDM printers. Then another advantage is that FDM printers has been around for a very long time and due to the simple mechanism, a large variety of materials can be used with the FDM. So this is very advantageous. Then we move on to the disadvantages. So as, as you know that the polymer is extruded through the nozzle. So there's, there's a limited resolution based on how, how small the diameter of that nozzle could be. And also the filament thickness. The FDM process is also a very slow process as it only has a single extruder head. And that extruder head has to go line by line over the whole cross section. So in the next few episodes, you will see methods in which the printer can print an entire area at, a, at once. So that, that would speed up the process. But in the case of FDM, it is much slower. So lastly, because 
FDM uses solid base filaments. These filaments can degrade due to either exposure to moisture or exposure to UV light. So that can change the properties of the polymer that is used. So next. So we have reached to the application section of uh, FDM. So the first application that I want to mention is that FDM allows cheap rapid prototyping for ordinary people that has never been available before because FDM has now become a very cheap process due to a lot of consumer companies creating very cheap FDM type printers. Another application that FDM can excel in is, is in the creation of jigs and fixtures. So this is a very common point that uh, the company MakerBot keeps stressing that if industry realized that con consumer printers can produce the jigs and fixtures that assembly lines might need in their production of real parts, people will start to people will start to see the value in 3D printing basically. So the last application is in tooling for casting. So in the last month or so, I've seen people using consumer grade FDM printers to create plastic molds out of ABS to cast low melting point metals. So this is pretty, pretty novel, I would say. So we have finally reached to the end of the episode. So to summarize, in this episode, I described the FDM process and shown a schematic of it. Then I, I identified two principles of phenomena related to the FDM process. Then I went on to explain the three advantages and disadvantages that FDM process has. And lastly, I've ex identified three applications where FDM 3D printing can be used in. So now we'll head on to the references. So for the references, once again, I want to reference NTU's module on prototyping and rapid prototyping. Then I want to reference Waller's report and the uh, cover images that I use for the front page is by Stratasys. And the schematic of the FDM process is by MaxFAC. So under the slide in which I use the references, I've reference the slide below as a footnote so i hope you enjoy this episode and hopefully episode six would probably be about some strategies that are related to printing in fdm so i thank you again and hope you stay for episode six next week thank you a lot